Hey guys. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. This is a big ass mall out here. Can I give you guys a tour without getting lost? <laughs> I like how they have live music. Thank you so much. Ooh, ooh. A really good artist. Weather feels so great. Yeah, everybody out here. I'm good and full too, man. It's a good duo. Backyard Cinema Club. It's pretty cool. A good place. Like people take their dogs everywhere around LA. Yeah, this is one of like the largest malls out here in LA. One of the nicer ones too. Just when I saw I've seen all of the malls out here in LA, I find this one. I wonder what kind of specials they have. Has. I like her. So, some places have good reception and some don't, but that place smells so good. Look at all these stores. This is directory. So many stores out here. Okay, let's go downstairs. Things. Do I need anything? Sometimes I just be buying clothes and buying stuff just to buy it. I don't even need it. Shopping just to shop. I gotta stop doing that. I know I'm not the only one that does that either. But y'all be doing it too. Yeah, because I actually came out here to get my coats for my trip to New York. They have some good prices. Oh, look at the necktie. I love my necktie. Nordstrom. Skin Care. UCLA Health.
it gets uh, two levels, but this place is big. It's like gigantic, and it's so easy to get lost. Next health, gut testing, hormone optimization, IV therapy. Ah. Hey, Rashonda, how you doing? Happy holidays. When am I going to have another uh, book signing event? I'm thinking 2019 or 2020. 2019 or 2020. See, this is the thing. You guys know that I am working towards my PhD, which takes a lot of my time. And I actually just started uh, my dissertation. Started writing my dissertation, so... This is a study that I'm going to put so that takes a lot. It's a lot of work, and I have to be realistic with myself, because putting together an event, that also takes time, too, and commitment and all of that. So, I'll let you guys know, but you guys can go to the website at ubawa.org, spell so U-B-A-W-A.org, and reserve a, a space. It doesn't cost anything to make a reservation. And you'll be able to um, receive updates on. All right, sorry about that, guys. The reception is bad out here. But yeah, just go and make a reservation on ubawa.org. Click on uh, the tab Ubawa Book Convention, and just sign up. And from there, you'll receive updates on when the next Ubawa Book Convention will be. Yeah, hopefully, I want to do it 2019, but like I said. It's hard to tell because school is my priority and with that I have to do uh, clinical hours where I see clients and yeah that's, that's that's a big deal so so thanks for asking I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next one and we always post updates on our Facebook page too at Ubawa UBAWA at Urban Authors on Facebook so. Out. Man, they got every store you can name out here. When I say this place is like a maze, like you will get lost out here. I tried to figure it out when I came last time. I thought it was like a circle, but then even when I like went in a circle, I still got lost. It's like, damn, they got so many freaking stores out here. Actually, um, on Ubawa's page, I took a vote to see where people want to have the next Ubawa Book Convention. And most people said Atlanta, but we've already hosted it in Atlanta, though. So I kind of want to take it somewhere different. Like we, The first one was in Atlanta, the second one was in New York City, and then the third was out here in L.A. So I want to maybe take it to a different place, like Chicago, New Orleans, or something like that. And in Atlanta, they have already, like, they already have uh, book conventions down there, I think. So, I want to switch it up and do something different. But I do think that that's where most of uh, the authors who are part of Ubawa, that's where most of them live in that area. A lot of African-American authors down there in Atlanta. Nice. That coffee smells so good. I like how they have African American uh, bottles in their stores more diversity. Okay, okay. Then. And we have to have a black or south store out here. So many different aromas. Kendra Scott.
Steve Madden. I remember when I was at uh, the release of uh, Keisha Cole, she had a shoe line through Steve Madden. But I think I discontinued. I was actually there and I met Keisha Cole and took pictures with her and all. She was so cool. And the A. They have a lot of events though, like that. Black Mecca. Tags. Candy Burroughs. I wonder if she still have her boutique in Atlanta called Tags Boutique. I met Candy Burroughs too. I used to go to her uh, candy coated nights that she would have at night. It was cool, like a little hangout at her a boutique shop. I think it's in Gwinnett County. I think she got two locations. One in, uh, what's that neighborhood called? Like near downtown Atlanta, and the other one was in Gwinnett County. Okay, don't lose your babies. have anything I need to buy really. I'm just out here window shopping. Passing time by. I'm like, shit, I already got dressed for my supposed date that I was supposed to go on. Do want to play games, y'all. Like, I don't, I don't even think I'm going to fool with his ass. Like, nah. Somebody will end up in jail. It ain't going to be me. So, it's best that we just kill that shit today. For real. Kill that shit right now because, like I said, Somebody gonna end up in jail fucking around. It ain't gonna be me. With the shit that he doing, may wanna make ultimatums and all of that. Like, dude, nah, man. I mean, I do like, a, like I said, I like a guy who knows what he wants and know how to get what he wants, stuff like that. But trying to be manipulative and trying to impose on my sense of security and safety, like, nah, nah, son. Shit ain't about to go down like that. Not with me. Especially, I don't even know you like that. Like, come on. I don't even know each other like that. And he's sitting up here wanting to make awesome items and shit. So I'm like, give him my address or are we not going out on a date? I ain't giving my shit. Fuck that. Hell no. This is cute. Everybody named mama out here today. Having a movie. I don't think you can hear it though. Backyard cinema. Oh my gosh. Amazon bookstore. Oh, yeah, y'all want to go in here? When I came out here, I took pictures last time. But I didn't do video when I came out here. They have an Amazon bookstore. Frederick Douglass. Like they have a bookstore and they have like the, some of the reviews out here. Under the books. That's that new new. Notorious RBG. Huh, what's that about? Popular books in Los Angeles. I like biographies. My autobiography is coming. Wow, you guys are still here. I thought it shut off. This thing is just in and out, y'all. Like, in and out, burger. Okay. Let's see, did I go this way? I think I did. I like that store. Cool. Oh, well, yeah, I think I didn't go that way. to be all discreet today with the blinds shut apple store let's see I'm gonna go upstairs okay I showed you you got upstairs these boys be trying to holler at me 
But I know y'all probably kill me if y'all see me with a white boy. Y'all ain't having it, huh? Because even when I made a video just about interracial dating, y'all damn near took my head off. Like, dang, I can't date a white man. And they damn sure be trying to holler too, boy. Y'all well, look kind of good. Pizza. Gave me a little wink. I'm like, ah! ah. <laughs> Don't get me started, y'all. Don't get me started out here with these white boys. I probably lose all street cred if I did a white boy. I already know. Like I said, when I made, I see some cute. When I made that video, y'all, I was just talking about it, and then y'all just went in on your girl. I'm like, okay, well maybe I shouldn't because I'm gonna be attacked. And shit, I feel like I'm gonna be attacked either way. So I don't know. They say follow your heart. Love is blind, right? I don't have a color. I got baby fever. I want to have some babies. But when I do, but when I do finally settle down, I'm about to be pushing them things out left and right. I'm telling y'all. And I'm like, damn, she pregnant again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going for the gusto, yeah. So that's why I always gotta make sure that whoever I'm interested in dating, whoever I consider dating, they have to want some kids because baby, it's on the matter of time. Man, their shoes are pretty comfortable. Y'all see me in the reflection? Yeah, I like their food court. They have a, a good variety, good selection. So. All right, let's see. I don't think about going to see a movie today. You know, I was talking to the guy from Serbia last night. He was saying, oh, well, you don't really see that many interracial couples. I'm like, yes, you do. He was like, maybe not as many as you would like. I guess, but it's a lot of interracial couples out here in LA. Well, at least, I know, the neighborhoods I've lived in. In uh, Hollywood, anyway. It smells so fresh. It smells like money. It smells like money. Okay, let's see what they got out here. Creed probably a good movie too, but I don't feel like seeing no action. I'm not really much of an action movie fan. Yeah. Wait, does that cat have uh, the Indian? Uh, 
So much in my little own zone. I like. I gotta remember. I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, can't turn up too much. Well, it's gonna be a smooth day though. My Saturdays are great because I have three clients back to back. Yeah, I was saying Monday. Monday I have three. I think. Yeah, I have a four o'clock, seven o'clock, and an eight o'clock appointment. And then. Wednesday, I have my 5 o'clock client, and then Saturday, yeah, 11, 12, and 1. So I got seven clients total. I'm supposed to get a new one. I gotta confirm. So your girl caseload is going up. But yeah, I think I'm about to leave. I feel like I've already touched the base. What do you guys think about this mall? I really love it, y'all. One of my favorite malls out here. I think because of the food first. I came out here and I was hungry and I went straight to the food court. And they got me, y'all. They got you good. Let me see. Which way did I come? Check out this other place. 